My name is uh, Becky Walker and I am senior warden currently at St. Thomas Episcopal Church in Sturgis, South Dakota. I am looking for a servant leader, someone who can help us to be our best selves and help come alongside us and help us to utilize our gifts in the church. And I also want someone with a keenly developed sense of humor because life is too short everything, uh, for everything to be so serious. The world is serious enough and we need to see the lighter side of life. Joy to me and humor is part of joy is indicative of the presence of God. You may have heard the motorcycles going by in the background, and most people who hear of Sturgis, South Dakota, think of the motorcycle rally. And the motorcycle rally is a big thing around here. It consumes about three, right now about three weeks out of the whole year, and we just want you to know, yes, it is a big part of Sturgis. motorcycle rally. We are here year-round and we live in a beautiful place and we love it. Hi, I'm Jill Westendorf, and I am going to let you know why I love St. Thomas Episcopal Church in Sturgis, South Dakota. About seven years ago, I was attending 12-step group meetings in the library at the church, and one of our 12-step members was a congregate of St. Thomas, and I talked to her about it a little bit and asked her how she liked it, and she says, well, let, just come into the nave and sit in the church and see what you think. 
And so I did after one of our meetings and it just, it felt so comfortable and it was just, it felt like home. So about six and a half years ago, after Christmas, it was right between Christmas and New Year's, I had talked to my husband and he was raised Catholic. And I said, would you, would you like to try this church? And he goes, sure. And we did. And both of us love it. He feels very much at home there. And uh, we have a smaller congregation and we just feel like one big family. And that is why I love St. Thomas Episcopal Church. I am Harold Walker. Uh, uh, I am a member of the vestry here for the second time at, at St. Thomas. So it's an honor and a privilege to be part of that, uh, particularly as we go into the search for a new minister. There needs to be some leadership, particularly spiritual leadership. So a focal point for good and bad, as we all encounter good and bad, and someone that's available um, and willing sometimes to do no more than listen, but to listen with a spiritual ear, uh, having, having some experience or just gaining experience through uh, exposure to this congregation and, and this parish. And, and again, at the end of the day, I think it's, it's about spiritual leadership and a focal point for the energies of this congregation to assist us and channel us in, in ministry and service to not just each other, but especially to God and to the community and to the larger, uh, the larger Christian community. So if Jesus could come and be our pastor, we'd be, in, we'd, we'd be winning, we'd be there. Um, someone that's present with us that is uh, available to all, all members of the congregation and members that are not part of the congregation. <clears throat> because from, from my perspective, someone that, that's open, uh, that serves, either intentionally or unintentionally as a good recruiter. Uh, and, and maybe that's not the right term, but someone that's welcoming t as, as a member of our parish or as a representative of our parish to try and grow this congregation, gets more people here, um, and allow us to share with them in, in our ministry. We've got a great thing going here. And it would be the more people we can share that with, the greater it will become. We got going here. So history, obviously, um, some a foundation that has lasted so long, and people say, "Wow, well, you know." It's old and it's past its time and it needs to be recreated. And maybe that's true. But as we cre recreate things or grow things based on what they once were or why they were initially established, it just makes it stronger and stronger and stronger. So it's like, ah, we just need to start over from scratch. No, we don't. Because the lessons that have been learned and the things that have been built on the principles of this Episcopal Church in this community uh, carry a lot of weight. They really do. And they're important, uh, as far as I'm concerned, for uh, the perpetuation of our ministry. My name is Sarah Nelson and I'm the accompanist here at St. Thomas. I've been here about six years and one of the things that I have discovered about this congregation that I absolutely love is that we are a congregation of singers. Uh, we really seem to enjoy singing and I love sitting up here and listening to the voices as I play. So I hope we um, get a priest who is appreciative of music and choral music and um, we would 
welcome someone like that. Well, we're not a large congregation. Uh, most of them do participate in a community Christmas concert that's put on in this community. And St. Thomas has always had a presence at that um, concert. And we're always the smallest group, but we're an enthusiastic and fun group to work with. We will embrace the person who comes here because that's who we are. And so if we sound like the place for you, please come to St. Thomas. We are extending our invitation for you to come.